and we're back. A few chapters ago, we learned about proving that two triangles are congruent, and we were able to find some shortcuts like side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, 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 side, and we can do the same with similarity. We've got shortcuts to show that two triangles are similar. So we're gonna learn how to use those shortcuts. Then once we know that two triangles are similar, then we can use some proportions to solve some problems. You ready? Here we go. Here are three ways to show that two triangles are similar. First, the angle angle similarity, which we can use if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle. We can use the side, side, side similarity when the measures of the corresponding side lengths of two triangles are proportional. And the side, angle, side similarity, we can use that when the measures of two side lengths of one triangle are proportional to the measures of two corresponding side lengths of another triangle and the included angles are congruent. So remember, angles need to be congruent, sides need to be proportional. So let's try this first example and I'll show you what I mean. This one says, determine whether the triangles are similar. Well, we've been given three sides. So probably we're working our way to the side, side, side similarity. Let's start by marking the sides. We'll mark the small ones blue. We'll mark the medium ones green. And we'll mark the big ones yellow. So let's look at the small ones first. The small ones are six and nine. That reduces to two over three. The medium ones are eight and 12. Four goes into both eight and 12. That also reduces to th two over three. Now let's look at the big guys, 10 over 15. That also reduces to two over three. So all three sets of sides have the same proportion. So if they have the same proportion, then we can say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF because of the side, side, side similarity. Let's try another one. Determine whether the triangles are similar. Well, we have two sides and we have an angle. So let's look to see if we can satisfy the side angle side similarity shortcut. The two angles have to be congruent. Well, we've got that. Now we need to check the side. So we'll take the two small sides. That's three over four, and that doesn't reduce. Then we'll take the two bigger sides, six over eight, which reduces to three over four. So we have the two sets of sides with the same proportion and congruent angles in between. So we can say that triangle NMP is similar to triangle QRS because of the side angle side similarity. This problem says identify the similar triangles and then find each measure. So first, we need to prove that two triangles are congruent. Let's first find our two triangles. We've got this big yellow one, and then inside we've got this littler one that's green. So can we prove that those two triangles are similar? I think we can. Our first hint is that we've got parallel lines. Each side of the triangle is a transversal through those lines. With that transversal, we can see corresponding angles and corresponding angles are congruent. We have another transversal with this side of the triangle. And so we have two more sets of corresponding angles. So based on that, we can say that triangle JNL, that's the big one, is similar to tri triangle KML because of the angle-angle similarity. 
Now we can solve for x. So let's remember our two triangles. Here's the small one. Here's the big one. And let's look at the different sides. So the big one has a side, a long side of 24, which means the small one has a long side of 16 because we can subtract this eight from it. So that's gonna be our first proportion. So 16 over 24. And that equals, well, the small side of the yellow triangle there, 6x plus 2 over, and now we need the side of the big triangle, so that's x plus 5 plus 6x plus 2, so that's 7x plus 7. Now these numbers are getting big fast, so I'm looking at this one and I think I can reduce that fraction. And I can reduce that fraction to 2 over 3, so let's do that. 2 over 3 equals 6x plus 2 over 7x plus 7. And now we can cross multiply. So 2 times 7x plus 7 equals 3 times 6x plus 2. So we'll distribute the 2. We get 14x plus 14 equals, distribute the 3, 18x plus 6. I'm running out of room. So we'll, let's see, subtract six from both sides, subtract 14x from both sides, okay? So we get eight equals four x, so x equals two. Now we can plug two back in to find the different sides of this triangle. Let's clean this up. So two plus five means that this section is seven. This is six times two plus two. So that's 12 plus two. So this section is 14. So I know that N, M is seven, M, L is 14, and the entire side, N, L is 21. This one's actually a bit simpler. The first thing we need to do is prove that these two triangles, this green one and this blue one, are similar. We can do that by looking at these parallel lines and see this transversal right here gives us alternating interior angles. So those are congruent. This transversal here gives us these alternating interior angles. So those are congruent. So we can say that triangle MLN is similar to triangle QPN because of the angle angle similarity. Now I can find some corresponding sides to solve for X. So 12 and 18 those are corresponding sides. So 12 over 18 equals x minus one over x plus three. Let's reduce this again to make the numbers a little bit lower. Six goes into both of those. So we get two over three again <laughs> equals x minus one over x plus three. And now we can cross multiply. So two times x plus three three equals three times x minus one. So we'll distribute two x plus six equals three x minus three. So we'll add three, subtract two x. So x equals nine. Now we can take that nine and plug it back in. So this side is 12 and this side is eight. Now we're gonna give a word problem a shot. It says a person six feet tall casts a 1.5 foot long shadow at the same time that a flagpole casts a seven foot long shadow. How tall is the flagpole? Okay, first thing we need to do is draw, we need to draw a picture for this. So we've got the sun and we need a six foot tall person. So we'll put him here. 
and smiling. And we need a flagpole. There's our flag. And the six foot tall person casts a 1.5 shadow. So he's six feet tall with a 1.5 foot shadow. And the flagpole has a seven foot shadow. So we wanna know how tall is the flagpole. So we'll set up a proportion. So the height of the person corresponds to the height of the flagpole, which we don't know. And the shadow of the person corresponds to the shadow of the flagpole. And now we can cross multiply to solve for the height of the flagpole. So we get 1.5x equals six times seven, which is 42. We'll divide both sides by 1.5 and x equals 28. So we know the flagpole is 28 feet tall. Now, I hope that you can draw a little bit better than I can, but the math is the same, even if you're not a fabulous artist. So again, we're showing that two triangles are similar, then we're using that similarity to solve some problems. Thanks for coming.